Okay, today we have a die grinder for you. This is a Wilson tool. Uh, it's made by DCM Technologies. This is a basically a rotary grinder. You've got a table here uh, that can rotate. You have a chuck mounted on it. This is not a magnet. Uh, you have a grinding wheel mounted here. This is your whole spindle and uh, you have up and down here. You can control it with this hand wheel. The um, the head can be slid out of the way, but generally when you sharpen one of these tools, uh, if you want to come in here a little bit, we have a square, uh, a tool mounted in the chuck right now. Now we're just going to dress or clean this off flat, but uh, this is a DCM or Wilson tool fixture on here. This is a sign plate. Uh, you could set this chuck up to, to different angles uh, for doing different types of punches and different types of tooling. Uh, the dial indicator, from what I can understand, uh, you set that up so that you have a rough idea of where your zero is if you have several tools that are all at the same height, I guess. But underneath here is the grinding wheel. I like to just put a piece of paper in there and come down slowly until I touch the paper uh, and then go from there. So we'll move this out of the way. Uh, the machine is currently wired for 440 volts. We're going to turn it on. Then we're going to start the table. The table goes at 1 RPM. You can't adjust the RPM of the table. That starts the grinding wheel. And now you want to bring your wheel into your part here until you get to the stop. There is a stop. You can set up here so it doesn't go beyond. And you have a dial up here. I know I'm very close right now to the top of that punch because I just ground it. I don't want to take much more off, so I'm going to set my little dial here to uh, each line on there is, I guess, a thousandth. And I'm going to start the auto feed. There's a button here for auto feed. And when I press that, we're going to start the feed slowly down. I may or may not actually touch that punch. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to go a little more until I actually do see some sparks. Alright, so there you see some sparks. Now I'm going to set my dial to feed another couple of thousands down. So I'm going to start my auto feed again. So it feeds very slowly. You have a DC motor. It's supposed to have coolant on this but I don't, just for this demo. Below here is mounted a, a, is a coolant tank with a submersible pump on it. You've got uh, control valves here to turn coolant on here or through the chuck. But once it gets to zero, it will actually do a spark out. A dwell, it'll sit there without feeding anymore. Then it will automatically back up when it's finished. Okay, that's the end of the spark out. Now, if you watch the wheel here, you're going to see that it backs up and then it shuts off. So when you swing your thing out of the way here, you've got a nice, sharp, cleaned off uh, tool there. So that's all I can really tell you about this. Down here you have your coolant tank, comes out, you've got a submersible filter in there, a submersible pump, and a screen. Door here that you can close, keep you from getting wet. That's the Wilson Tool DCM Technologies die and punch grinder. Thank you very much.